really early today, it's about like 9 o'clock, um, basically because I'm pretty sure I've lost my university ID. I just can't find it anywhere. Because my house is being uh, renovated, all my stuff is packed into boxes and I literally can't find my student ID anywhere. Like I've checked all the boxes and I just can't find it. So I'm going to head to uni today to go pick up a new one and get some books from the library. So I'm just helping my mum with the laundry, taking it down because it looks like it's going to rain. When it comes to your mother, whatever she asks you to do, seriously help her because no one will love you as much as your mother does. And the amount of work she does for you never stops. So like every now and again when you know like you're not doing anything and she wants your help, just get up and help her. Like, instead of, you know, going on Twitter for five minutes, take those five minutes out to just help her. You know, seriously, it means a lot to her. You, you, believe me, you don't understand how much it means when you just help her with basic chores just because she asked you. Or even without asking, you see her, like, dirty dishes in the sink, just go clean them for her. Believe me, she'll, she'll appreciate it more than you'll ever know. It's so weird being back at my uni, especially in the summertime, because literally no one's here. I'm like one of like five people I've seen so far, and the car park was literally empty, and it's normally jam-packed during academic year. Look at the beardless me. Um, so I was really lucky I didn't have to pay anything to get mine replaced, because at the start of September everyone's getting a new one, like I said. So instead of me getting a new one in September, I just got it now early. So. That's a bonus that I didn't have to pay to get it replaced because normally I have to pay like I think it's 25 or 30 pounds uh, to get it replaced so I'm really happy about that. So there's this little stray cat which we've been seeing come to our house for like a year and he's like best friends with our cat so we just always feed it every day. They look so similar right? I took a sign about the Nakoda winning uh, the gold in the Commonwealth Games is that she used to work in the store and she was a really nice girl and she was telling me about how she was training to uh, in she was training in judo and how she was you know one day hoping to be in the Commonwealth Games and then hopefully one day the Olympics and it's just crazy because we were talking about it and I told her hopefully one day I'll see you in the newspaper and what do you know there she is she won gold for the Commonwealth Games. Uh, congratulations to her if she's watching. Uh, well done, you did a great job, you really represented. And hopefully one day it'll be an Olympic gold, and I'm sure it will. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I just picked up my uh, my lunch. Gonna eat that, then I'm gonna pick up my friend Hassan and get a haircut, because literally I need one. My, my line is out of whack. But yeah, I was gonna say, if you guys live in Ealing or Acton area, and you wanna get some quick Japanese lunch, sushi, donbori, onigiri, anything like that, this is your shop. Yo-Yo's Kitchen on just opposite West Acton Station. It is 10 out of 10 in terms of Japanese cuisine. And the owner we used to, was an ex-chef for Nobu, so he's he really knows what he's doing and he, and he cooks the food to perfection and he, and he prepares everything fresh. So I highly recommend that you come in and try it. You know what I love about like Japanese things is they like always engineer them in a cool way to like open or like you know get the food out like it's not just like a simple you just like rip open the packet like let me just show you how you open this watch it's so gonna be a bit hard to do with one hand but let me just show you so you pull this down all the way around and then you gently slide so as you can see I'm not exactly the most delicate of guys I accidentally well snapped it in half so it's in two pieces but on the plus side I can show you the inside now it's like a um, cooked salmon 
and it's just rice and then a, a sticky rice around it and then on the outside is seaweed I mean, it normally comes out in like a perfect triangle uh, but I'm absolutely useless so I broke it completely open I mean I know it probably looks like a mess to you but I can't wait to eat it so the barber on that still uses this old school register I'll show you how it works when they put money in it I just finished getting a haircut as you can obviously tell and I had a shower and then now I just come to uh, Covent Gardens because uh, I'm going to meet a couple of friends here I'm really excited because I haven't seen them in a long time I haven't seen them in like over a year uh, so it'll be good to see him um, he's also bringing a friend with him who I've only like met once before but she's a really nice girl from what I remember um, but yeah so I'm just going to head over to see them in Covent Garden now so I'm a bit annoyed right now um, I accidentally uh, paid for park like I basically paid for parking and me and my friend had a bit of a miscommunication so he's um, meeting me in Oxford Street and I'm in Covent Gardens which is quite far it's like half an hour 40 minute walk so after I just paid like seven pounds for parking I'm gonna just have to move my car in the end to Oxford Street because they have no way of getting here anytime soon uh, anyway quick so because taxis here are a rip-off, it'll be like 10, 15 pounds to take a taxi. So I said I'll just move my car close to them. Well, okay, so that was a bit lame, fortunately. So now I'm just going to get the navigation ready and I'm just going to head to Oxford Street. A bit annoyed because, you know, I just hate wasting money. Like, it's, I mean, this, you know, it's, it's pathetic. I mean, what can I do? But on the plus side, I can't wait to see them. So I'm going to get myself in a better mood, start driving and hopefully see them soon. So I just arrived at Selfridges and I'm on my way to go meet my friends. They're at a restaurant called Hattie and Bun. I never heard of it before so I'm looking for it now. Um, yeah, they already ordered me food which is good because I'm starving. So I'm just gonna... So as soon as I arrive I'm gonna eat because I'm literally so hungry. I literally do not know what I would do without that now. And I was going to record you when we were in the restaurant, but you keep moving, mm -hmm. so he had to come to me because I'm actually useless at finding places. VIP, VIP, VIP. <laughs> me and Rose, we just met... Uh... No, uh, Chesney. 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 Wojtek. Wojtek. Yeah, Wojtek Chesney, that's his name. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wojtek Chesney. So we just met Chesney from Arsenal. Nice meeting you, you man. Uh, so if I'm, I'm Ron, I'm Ron's gonna really gonna be so jealous because he really wanted to meet at least one Arsenal player when he came to London. I don't even like Arsenal, innit? I don't even support Arsenal, I support not, Chelsea and he supports Man United. If that was Gea, yeah, that's often Bro, if that was Hazard, I think I might cry. I'd cry, I'd cry. I think I'd I would cry, genuinely cry. cry. I think I would get on the floor and start Christian, crying. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'd love to meet Cristiano Ronaldo, honestly. Schalke players. He bought those, yeah. AJ went up to the stairs. Cup in Selfridges today. We've seen like ten Shark, German players. The team here, isn't it? Yeah, it's whole Schalke team are here. It's we're gonna, we're gonna leave them alone. Prince Bo time. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't win a World Cup, but his brother did. Oh yeah, true, true. Check it. Ruz, Shadi and his Shadi sister Tara are like in Louboutin and she's trying on Louboutins and it's like literally so funny seeing all these girls like wobble about, isn't it? Gas.com. Gas, <laughs> gas yeah, and they're all like standing at angles to show the red bar. <laughs> no, I, I see, see, do that, do that pose again? Yeah, one of them poses, isn't it? <laughs> they got these clips on it, they're like, you know those macaroni jars like your grandmother has for honey and you like clip them close. And do you know how much these are? These are one grand. They're, don't get me wrong, they're not bad, but this is disgusting. This errors. Yo. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. <laughs> okay, so me and Ruse, we decided we're gonna go to Nike Town because Ruse wants to get uh, the new Man United kit. And Ruse was about to buy it and the, the manager, literally the manager, we speak to him and he was telling us that he couldn't do it there and then, like we had to print wait. My, print, print my name, yeah. He wanted to print his name, and the guy said that, oh, we have to wait one day to do it. So, because Ruse, he lives a bit far, he lives like about an hour, hour ish, right? About an yeah. hour away. So we asked him, could you deliver it? And he's like, no. So, basically, he just took. The biggest night town in Europe, and he didn't have enough staff to print my name. It's the fake. I'm not it's going to spend a hundred pounds on the shirt with bad service. It's, it was terrible. I mean, he did, I mean, he did apologize in the end, but I mean, what good is that? I mean, I mean, I understand if you're a business, you want to make money and a customer wants to buy your shirt, but you're telling him you can't do it there and then. Like he said, the only way he would do it there and then is if we got a player that already exists, like a name that already exists, like Rooney or Van Persie. But if we wanted to get a custom name, he said we have to wait till tomorrow. Which I was yeah, kind of stupid, but on the plus side, it's good news for Sports Direct because that's where his money will be going.
That's the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, it means a lot. This brings me to the question of the day. If you could meet any footballer, past and present, who would it be and why? Mine hands down would be Hazard because I've just watched him develop as a player since he's been at Chelsea and he's an amazing player and I would love, love to get an autograph from him. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Karimchi, out.